Hi there, this is Tweety. Hi Tweety, say hi. And this is Dolce here next to you and we're going to do a quick little morning eye stain cleaning routine. Um, Tweety and Dolce, we've let them um, get a little dirty here so that you can see how we clean their eyes and our new regime um, includes this new solution that we're really finding is making a huge difference on their tear stains. It is made by Butler Shine. It has a very simple list of ingredients. The ingredients are water, boric acid, zinc sulfate, glycerin, and camphor, and that's it. They ask you to moisten a facial tissue or cotton and gently rub the stain area below the eyes. Um, one of the things to be careful of is not to put this inside the eyes. Even We don't want to do that. So what I do, you can still use the contact solution um, that we had recommended to you previously with um, any kind of contact solution that has boric acid as a top ingredient. But we're finding that concentration of boric acid is a little stronger. It's actually significantly stronger in this solution. So you're going to see results much faster. So in the past, what we would do is we would use warm water and we would moisten the cotton pad. And you can still do this either with some warm water in it. I like using warm water on the pad because it helps to um, break down some of the staining. And then what I'll do is I'll pour some of the solution into this warm pad. And we'll put that there. Don't look it. Okay. And we'll grab the cotton and we'll clean this area. Just real gently. Not a lot of pressure. Just very gently. And you can see quite a bit of staining on the cotton. Is that showing up? Mm -hmm. And then we're going to go to this other eye. Good girl, Tweety. And we're going to do the same thing. You can see there's quite a bit of staining coming out. Just soften. The warm water is nice because it helps soften. You see quite a bit of staining has come out on this pad. So now we'll flip it over and we're going to add some more of the solution. And we will clean out some more. Okay. Okay. And there's still more color coming out. Come over to this side and we'll clean out this side some more. Just real gently, not too much pressure. I'm just real, really letting this warm, warm cotton, and there's just constantly color coming out. And so then what we'll do is we'll take a Kleenex and we'll dry it out. And as we have mentioned before, when you wet this area, the stains that are in the fur will become much more pronounced. Dry it out with the Kleenex. Good girl. And then we'll come over here and we'll do this other side. We'll dry out with the Kleenex. And what you can do is you cannot obviously blow dry it to dry it out, but it's not necessary to blow dry it. And you can see it really helps keep the area around her eyes clean. We don't do this every day for Tweety um, because she has gotten much cleaner. Um, but we will do this at least a couple times a week. And after a bath too, after a bath what we'll do is we'll clean, clean this area out after a bath and we'll use this solution too just in case any um, shampoo products might have gotten into her eyes. And that's kind of a way to use this product with a dog that has short hair. Okay, here's Dolce. We're going to show you how we use it. We're going to take our warm cotton pad. We're going to take our tear stain cleaning solution. We're going to saturate it. We're going to come over here. For someone that like Dolce that has long hair, you're going to take this wet 
cotton pad and clean out this area. And Dolce had a lot of staining if you look at some of her previous videos, um, her earlier videos that we made. And the reason why she has this little line here is we don't put shampoo products around her eyes. We don't like, and you can see the staining coming out, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but And we just take the few threads of hair that stains. She's she tears, and um, she has a little thread that does stain. And we'll just clean it up like that and dry it out. It's just the Butler Shine. It's available on Amazon. If you go to multisubsession.com and go to the Shop Shop Shop, you will see that it's under Tear Stain, the category of the Amazon um, store that we have listed all the ingredient, all the items that we use. And um, it comes in four ounce bottles, and you can find it there. And that's it, Tweety.